have a couple of things for your adventure in Dutch oven cooking. First, you'll need a Dutch oven. Uh, mine is a 12-inch Dutch oven. They come in a variety of different sizes. You'll also want something to start your charcoal, like this charcoal oven starter. You'll also need some charcoal briquettes, some newspaper to get your charcoal started, and a lighter. I like the long-handed barbecue lighters just to keep my hands from getting burned. And then I also like to have a lid grabber for my Dutch oven, some tongs, and some heavy-duty leather gloves so I can grab that cast iron stove without burning myself. Grilling is easy over a fire, and you can cook a soup or stew in a pot on any gas stove. Baking, however, is a process perfectly suited for a Dutch oven. Menu items like cinnamon rolls and pizza will be a big hit with your family members next campout, even if you don't make them from scratch like I did. To calculate how much charcoal you will need, multiply the diameter of your oven by 2. This gives you how many briquettes you need for approximately 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Each additional briquette you add adds about 20 degrees in temperature. Next, you will need to light your charcoal. I like to roll my newspaper into tubes and then line the bottom of the cooker. Load your briquettes on top of the rack and light the newspaper either from below or through the access holes. Make sure to leave space for airflow so that your fire can breathe. When your charcoal is ready, you will want to transfer it to your Dutch oven. For baking, Place approximately two-thirds of the charcoal on the top of the lid and one-third underneath the pot to evenly distribute the heat. Now is the hard part because you have to wait patiently just like Bernie is here in this picture. To cook evenly, you will want to rotate the lid and the base in opposite directions every 10 minutes or so. Also, if your charcoal briquettes cook down to the size of a quarter, you will want to replace them with new ones. Okay, so the last thing we need to be thinking about is how we're going to clean our Dutch oven. All you're really going to need to clean your Dutch oven is some hot water here and a plastic scrubby like this one that I have here. You're not going to want to use soap or anything metal to clean your cast iron stove because it will affect the finish. So just give it a good scrub out with your scrubby and the hot water. And then what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to heat your stove to make sure all the water has evaporated and then treat it with some vegetable oil or shortening to make sure that it, it maintains that nice coating so that your food doesn't stick when you're cooking in the future. Thanks. Have a good one.